Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I explained various adsorption kinetic models. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to explain how to interpret pseudo second order kinetic model easily. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, before going into details, I would like to explain what is adsorption kinetics. Well, adsorption kinetics provide insight into the reaction rate and the adsorption mechanism involving mass transfer, diffusion and reaction on the adsorbent surface during adsorption. However, adsorption process consists of external mass transfer over the boundary layer, diffusion film between the liquid phase and the outer surface of the adsorbent, diffusion that takes place in the adsorbent particles, whereby the adsorbent solution enters the adsorbent pores. Finally, formation of physical or chemical bonds of the adsorbent at the active centers in the pores of the adsorbents. And here it has been shown pores, adsorbent, adsorbent, active site, and these three process one, two, three. The first process is external diffusion, second is internal diffusion, and third is adsorption on active sites. In this sense, adsorption kinetics is the measure of the adsorption uptake with respect to time at a constant pressure or concentration and is employed to measure the diffusion of adsorbent in the pores. Well, then comes why kinetic? Well, adsorption kinetics involve the changes in the adsorption properties with time for the system where the degree of surface coverage provides insight on the rate of a process. Both adsorption and desorption processes are time dependent. It is also essential to evaluate the rates of adsorption for the design and regeneration of the adsorbent. Understanding of adsorption and desorption kinetics and their kinetic parameters are important since such parameters enable characterization of the movement of the sorbet within and onto the surface sides of the adsorbents. Now comes to pseudo second order reaction. Well, this model is primarily based on the assumption that the rate limiting step is chemical adsorption or chemisorption and predicts the behavior over the whole range of adsorption. Here the adsorption rate is dependent on adsorption capacity, not on concentration of adsorbent. Now, what is the advantage? Well, this model of our first pseudo first order model is that the equilibrium adsorption capacity can be calculated from the model. Therefore, there is theoretically no need to evaluate adsorption equilibrium capacity from experiment. Then comes the equation. This is the uh, linear equation. And here is the nonlinear equation. In my previous videos, I have showed how to fit both linear and nonlinear equation using Microsoft Excel, Excel Solver, and Origin Pro. So please visit this uh, uh, channel and watch these videos. Now, if your equation fits a C to second order model, that means it is easily calculated by the R square value, then we can uh, uh, consider that the C to second order model 
and which the adsorption rate decreases linearly as the adsorption rate increases and CU2 second order provides the best correlation of the experimental data for adsorption mechanism when the rate determining step is considered as a chemical reaction between the adsorbent and the adsorbent, which is often used to describe chemisorption. That means if your data follows CU2 second order react uh, CU2 second order model, that means the reaction involves chemisorption rate limiting a step. Now, as I said, in this uh, kind of adsorption, chemical reactions seem significant in the rate controlling step and the C2 second order chemical reaction kinetic provides the best correlation of the experimental data and adsorption mechanism is chemically rate controlling and because of it is called chemisorption. Here, the kinetics of adsorption should correspond to a reversible second order. So these are the references from where most of the informations have been gathered. And uh, in my next video, I will also explain how to interpret C2 first order reaction. Thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminul Camp Innovation and don't forget to subscribe for new videos.